you know, you can you can feel connected to your friends and you can feel connected to colleagues and you can feel connected to family, but but these people aren't cuddling with you in bed. So Ernest Becker in his book The Denial of Death says that love is a cosmology of two. So it's this idea that you create a shared intersubjective life world together you know like and this idea of like creating a world together i mean it's like that phrase inside baseball there's a camaraderie that comes from having our own language our own inside jokes our own baby talk our own set of shared references and set of shared experiences and so you know it might start with just a spark where you feel intuitively well oh, this person kind of gets me you know the, the glimmer in their eye the way they look back at me when I say something it just feels like they're understanding me in a very deep level almost beyond words there's a nonverbal tuning in they're attuned to me and that's reassuring you immediately feel kind of like they get you and then you're kind of getting them and then that starts to create the the kind of uh, irresistible kind of butterflies in the stomach where you're kind of smiling at each other a lot because there's there's a giddiness that emerges a childlike giddiness from from feeling seen and then it opens up a set of possibilities about how much deeper this can go and so then comes the desire to want to take intentional authoring of this growing connection like, okay let's take a trip together Let's go somewhere that none of us have ever been. You know, this alien, let's go orbit around some alien landscape, which will just push us closer together and create a shared experience narrative that again, starts to cement this idea of our world. Then let's find music that we both love. Let's find our song or let's find a playlist that's like our playlist. Like, oh, we went to Tokyo together and we got stoned and we listened to the Beatles and sang Let It Be. And it's like that then becomes like our shared world and it's just for us. And so the more you start to feel connected, the more you start to feel like you're not alone, which, you know, you can, you can feel connected to your friends and you can feel connected to colleagues and you can feel connected to family, but, but these people aren't cuddling with you in bed. So it's like when you're connected to somebody and you're sharing some of the most intimate in-between moments, you know, not just when you're like dressed and you already brushed your teeth and you're already out of the world, but like you're like emerging into consciousness in bed together. You're taking baths together. I mean, there's, there's just this candid, candor, unguarded nakedness that continues to cement the feeling of connection. And... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a yummy thing. I, I kind of live for that experience. If anything, my, my, my problem comes from uh, loving feeling connected so much that then there sometimes emerge thoughts of fear around losing that connection. I don't want you to go away. I don't want you to ever die. I don't want the ravages of time or entropy to rob me of how safe I feel around you. You know, the world is, uh, the world has been brought down to size because of you. I can handle a world that is normally overwhelming because you're there, you know. I can take more risks because you're there. But if you're not there, what, you know, what, what, what will I do? There's a fear around that as well. And so, and so, because of the ephemerality of life, the transitory nature, the fleeting nature of our lives, um, even our greatest ecstasies of trust and connection are often tinged by some sadness or anxiety, at least, at least for me. But again, my response to that has not been to succumb to despair, but to double down on a agency. It's like, fuck, I'm gonna love you anyway, I'm gonna try anyway, like we're gonna imprint ourselves emotionally on each other, we're gonna create our playlist, we're gonna like take MDMA together and like really experience the, the world of being gods outside of time.